We started here with very little and a rather large debt and we still had a debt right up to about five years ago and we always thought we'd probably have to sell the farm to get rid of that debt and um, so as we could retire. We went to a seminar in Danavirk where Phil Goscott was speaking. Um, he is a farm advisor and it sowed some seeds in our minds. So we contacted him. He asked us lots of questions about where we saw ourselves in two or three years' time, what we would like for Mount Marchant. He did say to us the most important thing was us. So we gave him our financials and he was to go away and draw up a bit of a plan for us. Well, it was about three weeks later when we um, Phil had put all the, the figures together and we got all the family together. We went down and had another meeting with them. So, yeah, we had no expectations of, of taking over this farm from a, from a young age. Our parents had always um, sort of told us that, yeah, the farm would probably be sold. I was really excited about the idea that we were all going to sit down together and look at um, what opportunities there may be for the family moving forward. We had the whole family there, uh, including Louise uh, at the time, who was Daniel's fiance. Farm advisor Phil Goscott put some scenarios up on the wall from the financial figures that we'd given him. He said, you know, one option was obviously to sell Mount Marchand. Another one was to actually lease it, and the other one was, third one was to actually retain it in the family. All three children wanted to to retain Mount Marchand. That's where they grew up. Um, there was only one of them was able to come here, so the other two had to agree with with what we were trying to achieve. Lou, Lou and I were in the best position financially to be able to get back here. I was really excited when we worked out that Daniel and Louise had this opportunity to take over the farm. And both Tom and I, my other brother who's also farming, we were both absolutely 100% behind giving Daniel and Louise this opportunity. After the meeting uh, with Phil, uh, with his suggestions, we had to go away and think about it. One of the things that we had to do was get rid of our debt. Daniel had to come up with a certain amount of money to buy our house in town. Well, we had to be very careful that we weren't overburdening Daniel with debt. So we worked out a figure that we would lend Daniel, that he would pay us interest on for our retirement income. When Jackie and I pass away, that money gets split up between the other two children. So that's their inheritance, plus our house and town and any other assets we've got at the time. Daniel gets his inheritance straight up with the farm, but he's got to look after us. So. I don't know who got the right end of the deal, actually. It's not like the farm's been handed to Daniel and Louise, and they've worked really, really, really hard. Tom wasn't in a financial position to take over the farm. He is in an equity partnership of his own in the Wairarapa and doing really, really well. So to me, the most important part of this entire process has been communication. My mum's a fantastic communicator, and she was able to pull us all together. So we had an external expert involved in helping facilitate the family meeting, which was absolutely key. Uh, he allowed us to look at the different options that we had and lay all our questions on the table, and we wouldn't have got to where we got to without having that expert in the room who allowed us to think about things quite differently. The key steps in succession planning were firstly that we got an advisor in and relatively early. Um, we had th three years in order to actually get this plan working. That was important. Second thing was that we actually had all our family on board and that was that was really, really important. It's probably and the most important thing to have the kids and all agreeing to what we were trying to achieve. Because they knew from, from quite a young age that not much would probably be sold, they knew that they had to get out and work hard. So that was really important for, for us in terms of the whole succession plan, that we knew that they had good work ethic. The other key thing, I think, was that we were prepared then to go away and have a really good go at it. So for us, it was to try and get rid of our debt. And for Daniel, it was to build equity in his leasing. It was really hard 
work to get our debt paid off because we had to forego some of the development. Um, the whole exercise was worth it because we've seen um, Daniel and Lou come to the farm here. Well, I think the family have um, accepted what we've done here. It was quite important that this was still the, the other two children's home, that they were welcome back here whenever they wanted to come back. I love the fact that the farm is in Bowie hands and I love that I can go home and see my niece and nephew growing up in the wonderful environment that we had when we were growing up.